So at this point, we've removed uh, the front wheel axle, um, loosen the pinch bolts, remove the fender and the front caliper, and then um, on the C, you're going to need to remove the uh, turn signal running lights. Um, at this point, we're going to go ahead and, and loosen the, the uh, top caps on here. Once those are loose, we're going to pull the pinch bolts and then slide the forks down these caps. Pull this over here. This cap has some pressure on it. Loosen the top and bottom pinch bolts, and your fork will slide right out. And be careful, don't tip it over because it's full of oil. And your old spring got pulled out. At this point, I pulled the spring out completely, and I'm gonna dump the old fluid out of the uh, fork. Nice and dirty. You're going to compass the floor to get all the excess out of there. Uh, so now I'm going to take some transmission fluid put down here so we can flush these things out. And you're going to want to do this two times at least. And the third time, you're going to want to use fork oil to get all the residue from the transmission fluid out of there. transmission fluid and another time with uh, fork oil. So now we're going to put uh, fork oil back in the fork. Uh, we've already done this fork. Um, we drained it, flushed it out twice with transmission fluid, once with fork oil to get the transmission fluid out. Now we're going to fill it up. And what you're going to want to do is compress the spring down all the way, move it up and down a couple times, and then compress it all the way so there's no air in the bottom. And then you're going to take the oil and you're going to fill it up until there's five and a quarter inches between the top of the fluid level and the top of your fork. Bring up one other Then you just stick a tape measure down in there. The flashlight is good to have a person here. And so I hit right on at that time. Alright. And then we're going to go ahead and put the spring and then a little washer on the top of the spring and go ahead and reseat. Alright, so uh, you're going to take the spring now uh, before you set it back up in here and you need to grab the spring and the little washer and you need to set the spring down in here. And then set your washer down in there, and then we're going to go ahead and reset the, uh, the fork in the triple tree. All right, now we're going to take and set the fork uh, back in the triple tree. Go ahead and extend it out. Slide back up through your tree.
And then at least initially, I like to have the fork sticking out the top of the tree just a little bit, and you tighten the bottom hole to hold it in place so you can get your caps put on. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, put the spacers in and put the caps on the fork. So I went ahead and put your uh, the spacer down inside here, and I'm going to uh, set the cap. This is pretty tough. Uh, Best thing to do is pull the spacer out, put the cap on here, find out where it's going to start, and then line your cap up in that position so that you can uh, put pressure on the fork and then go ahead and pull the whole thing down. So I'm going to go ahead and try to set it now. So uh, these bottom pinch bolts, once you get your fork set where you want them, uh, make sure your caps are even. And your uh, fork, uh, the bottom fork bolt needs to be torqued to 39 foot pounds. Just there, right there. And then the top fork bolt, uh, you need to make sure it's torqued to uh, 17 foot pounds. You want to torque this top one to 17 foot pounds. Your caps also need to be torqued down to uh, 17 foot pounds. So make sure you do that. And now we're going to go ahead and uh, start reassembly, uh, putting your lights back on if you have a C, uh, and go ahead and reset your fender and your wheel. Uh, past that, you're done with your forks.